subscribe to my channel. My what you waiting for? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today, wait a minute. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today, I just um wanted to just you know talk and um straighten my hair basically or whatever um so hey if you're new here my name is anaja um make sure you subscribe if you're a returning you know subscriber um thank you for watching thank you for supporting me and make sure you check out all my latest videos because i'm getting there okay i'm trying to it's hot in here but I just wanted to talk. This hair is really thick and I don't really know. But I'm trying to straighten it. Whatever. And you know, I just want to talk. I don't really come here knowing what I'm going to talk about. I just feel like I wanted to create some type of video. Just some content for my channel, basically. Wow. I straighten my hair so I'm straightening my hair because I have found me a job you know what you see um so I have orientation in the morning but my orientation my my boyfriend bought me this necklace guys my lips look dry I'm so out of breath right now like but um so yeah, I found me a job and I have orientation in the morning. Orientation is at 7.30 in the morning. And y'all know like orientation is very serious or whatever. Because tomorrow's Thursday. So they had one. They had one Wednesday and Thursday. But tomorrow's Thursday. So basically, if you're late for the orientation, there's no like, you know, turning back or whatever. I mean, there's no going forward. The race is going to turn you away. So I felt like, okay, let me get up and do my hair maybe i could run the flat iron over it in the morning it's really not that serious but i was just like i'm gonna just do my hair tonight so i won't have to wake up and try to do this in the morning because i know me i'm definitely not a morning person but the shifts that i got so far um they're like midday shifts but that's only because i have class in the morning so my classes are from 9 to 12 or whatever so yeah I mean, but the shifts that I should be getting, they're like midday shifts, like 2 to 10 and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm not tripping about that. But, yeah. So, I'm grateful to have found me a job. But in the meantime, of course, I'm still looking for a job where I would feel more content. Um, But I'm just thankful to have had a job. Y'all yeah, ever, like, constantly see, like, the angel numbers? Like, I don't know if, like, 1212 is considered an angel number. But, I mean, I see 1111 and I make a wish every time. So, that's why I feel like, you know, God has been looking out. God, um, you know, he's been looking out. Like, I got me a job and it's like, I've been looking for a job for a year. So, but, you know, like, he got me. Like, he, I, he ain't never, like, let me fall or nothing like that. So, um, I feel like my wishes are, like, coming true, low-key. But, um, yeah. So, I've been seeing, like, 11-11, 12-12. I've seen that one recently. I've been seeing 3-3-3, And every time I, like, um, every time I see them, I would, like, look it up to see, like, how is this, like, you know, like corresponding with my life and stuff like that and every time i see it like i just take heed to what it says and it's like i feel it in my soul that this is like this is what's going on in my life like like yeah so yeah that's that um in the meantime today i don't know when today's tomorrow's thursday so really i've been feeling out of whack low-key like like okay it's that time of the month yeah 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 and but i've just been feeling really down and really like drowsy and out of it and 
yeah but i you know you try not to let things defeat you i mean i have okay wait i gotta um turn my fan on because i'm hot what i was saying i was basically saying like you just don't you know you don't let a lot of things defeat you like that you know you could overcome and it's like i try not like everybody know that i'm low-key like a strong person and i hate for people to see me like down or out of whack and stuff like that but it's like certain things they'll get to you like i'm, I'm sure like everybody go through it and everybody had a days where they just feel down bad and just they can't catch a break and they always get the short end of the stick and i feel like that a lot honestly but you know i try not to let things bother me because that's just the type of person i am like i don't want to say i don't care about much i care about a lot but i'm the type of person to like if something's bothering me i don't show it until somebody gets fed up and then they like see it on me or whatever but i overthink just about everything but at the same time like when people do stuff to me and all that stuff like i just I think about it, it bothered me for a little minute, and then I realized that low key, I don't care. So I just move on with my life. But I do overthink a lot. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just everywhere right now, but I just feel like you just have to pray. Cause with everything that's going on in the world, it's like everybody's going through something and not saying of course you take your own problems personal you take like that's you like you take it personal but it's like you have to look at it because you're going through it and you tell the next person you going through it and guess what they're not gonna care because they're gonna feel like i'm going through something too so you tell me your problem because it's what you want me to help you like wherever i like it's a no for me but yeah, I don't too much like to tell people my problems and stuff like that. <sighs> but I just want to know that this week has been a tough week for me. Like, oh my god. Like, I got school. At this point, it's like I haven't worked for so long. Now I have to get back in the groove of which I know I could do it because I've been doing it since high school. But get back in the groove of working and going to school and making sure I'm staying on top of all my stuff and all that stuff like that. But it's like, Nigel, you got it. Don't worry about it. God got you. You got support. You have mental support, physical support, moral support. You have support. And you're about to start financially supporting yourself. So you don't even have to look at nobody. Even though I don't really like ask nobody for nothing. But it's like... You got you, everybody got you, everybody around you, you know that they have you if you need something. So, yeah. I don't know, I just felt like I went to come here and rant just to get my mind off some things. <sighs> I don't know what's going on, but I'm definitely like out of breath. Maybe I'm talking too much. But yeah, I just want to know, like, if y'all feel like sometimes you're just, like, sinking, like, like, you could never catch a break. Like, I know everybody go through it, so it's like, okay, feel free to comment so we could talk about it. Oh, also, since I'm here, I had many people ask me, well, I had some people ask me about, like, um, to share my experience with, like, um, financial aid and stuff with the school, with FAMU. So, I feel like everyone's experience is different. Um, my experience, experience is not going to be your experience, and your experience will definitely not be my experience. But, I have not had bad run-ins with financial aid. So, to speak on my experience with financial aid, I cannot say nothing much, like nothing too bad about it. Because when I had an issue with financial aid, I would call them. I've always been... I don't know. I guess I looked up. But I was able to... I never sat on hold with financial aid for 10 years. Um, 
I I just haven't had that like no bad run-ins like when I'm on campus and I have to go to financial aid I literally walk over to Fahillier I address my question they give me my answer I mean address my issue give they give me my answer and I go on about my day um with refund checks I've been issued my refund checks in a timely manner um financial aid um, I fill out my FAFSA and everything. So really, whatever I fill out, I've been doing it for so long because I started with doing my sister's own when she got to college, when she went to college. So I've been doing it for so long. It's like I kind of, I kind of just know what I'm doing. And then whatever you do for fall semester, it automatically rolls over to the spring semester. So there's not really much for you to worry about. Um, make sure you do your FAFSA on time. I literally set a reminder October, September 30th for October. Well, not necessarily September 30th, but it's like, I just know, like, I just know. So by October 1st, of course, like October 1st, as soon as like September 30th, October 1st, literally the website's gonna crash. Like I'm used to it. So I wake up that morning or sometime during the next day. As long as I get my application submitted October 1st, I'm fine. Um, yeah, I just feel like I don't have like bad run-ins with financial aid. I've never stood in line for over an hour. Okay, I'm making a lot of noise. I've never stood in line at Fahillia for over an hour. I just feel like I didn't, I wasn't the one to complain about financial aid. They give me my money right now. I don't even pay, I, like I don't take out loans for school. I moved off campus and I don't have a meal plan since the pandemic hit or since the pandemic had started, whatever. And I don't pay, only pay for classes. So I put my information in whatever and whatever financial aid covers, they cover it and the rest of it, I get my money back in a refund check, which if you look at it it's technically not my money i'm getting the government's money so did i say that i said that whatever but yeah i mean it's for school purposes anyways and it's for living purposes like i save my refund checks honestly because i have bills to pay at this point and yeah so like when the pandemic happened i was getting I mean, we ended up getting, a, the school got a grant, I believe, a grant. And we received the CARES Act fund. So I got the CARES Act and ever since then, I've saved that because I know that I wasn't working and I know that I decided to sign a lease to stay off campus because I thought something was gonna change. But classes have been online ever since and I kind of regret it, but it's okay. And um yeah so i saved all of that money which it wasn't that much i mean at the same time i had got refund checks and i had got money back for staying on campus because we didn't stay the full term so they had to reimburse us for the time that we were not there um i think i'm like well i don't know um so yeah all of that it, it's been, it hasn't been like bad. What am I saying? I mean, I'm just saying I received refund checks and all that stuff. Let me see if anybody else had like any type of questions. Basically the question was the financial aid journey, excuse me. And my journey with financial aid has been a breeze, honestly. My um, fam, you seems to like, you know, I don't really know what other people go through, but fam, you seems to be on their like stuff about like giving you your money back and all that stuff. Like school starts August something. I mean, this semester they were kind of, they kind of dropped the ball with the refund checks, but I mean, I wasn't tripping. Um, but like school starts August something by the beginning of September, you got your refund check, you go on, you get out their hair basically. Like that's what they want. Um yeah they don't really they don't really want to smoke basically also i had a comment basically talking about if you apply for the fall term that's if you apply for because when i checked it said 2.85 for the summer term okay so i mean i realized that i started talking about admissions but i'm not really too 
up to date on admissions, honestly, because I mean, I've been admitted. So I'm not literally, I'm not gonna leave y'all hanging, no. But maybe I should have did more like research instead of just going by what I literally seen on top. But I mean, what I do see that is that you need a 3.0 to get into school. I, um, I'm not gonna say to be, to get in, but I guess to be like considered, you need a 3.0. Um, listen. Of course, with like, I mean, not saying scholarships, but I mean, people who are on scholarships, I mean, you know what they do, you know more than me, cause I don't have scholarships, so. I don't know. I literally see what what I said. Freshman 3.0, transfer 2.5. Oh, they said like summer. So yeah, spring admissions, it says you need a 2.8. 2.85. Your SAT, math, 25, reading, 26, language, I think that's what that is. Um, a 26. ACT, I mean, it's all online. So spring, you need a 2.8, summer, a 2.8 as well, fall, a 3.0. So it seems easier to get in between summer and, summer and, shoot, like summer and spring. Cause you, I mean, it's lower than a 3.0, but it depends on when you want to start, how you want to start. But just know that like, I believe like your application goes upon a board and they all like decide like what they want to do and stuff like that. I'm not really sure. Like the admissions committee, there we go. But I mean, if you have more questions, you can also call the school if you're not really understanding like what they're talking about online because, and you need like actual like verbal communication. I mean, you can call the school or whatever. And the people here, they're pretty nice sometimes. It depends on who you talk to. But when you talk to them like face to face, they're pretty nice. Um, Like I've had, I've dealt with people, um, the ladies in like financial aid, cause I always went to see them like at the one-stop shop and all that stuff. And honestly, they let me like, if it was something I didn't understand, cause that's when I, at the time, like I was taking out loans and stuff, but I was like, my mom was helping me and all that stuff. So they would like, let me call my mom and all this stuff. And we would sit on the phone. They would talk us through everything. I go to the side, pull out, I mean, like, fill out the information, go back to them. They had no problem with helping me. I mean, I didn't give no problems and they didn't really give me no problems either. And whenever I had to go to them, I always went to the one-stop shop anyways, but the one-stop shop used to be crowded, y'all. It used to be crowded <laughs> and I didn't hate going there, but it used to be crowded. Oh my gosh, like that was so annoying. I'm twisting like my little wig is not coming A. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much it. I feel like me talking about that, I feel like I just helped somebody and I don't feel so bad about myself. So, yeah, with that being said, I'm just gonna twist this up and I'm gonna end this video because I just had to get some things off my chest. I usually do that. I might not post my videos, but I usually just make a video when I'm feeling some type of way. And then I get that off my chest and my spirit is relaxed and settled. And then I go on about my day. I just know that I got something off my chest that I didn't really want to talk to anybody about. You get me? But you know, just pray. You pray that everything's gonna be all right within you and your circle and your family and God will make a way. I can tell you that much. 
it's giving me wig vibes for real girl we just going over I think I'm um, also because when I used to do hair I feel like it was an outlet for me and I think I'm about to start back promoting my hair page and everything because I need an outlet there's a lot of things that I just don't do no more and I feel like I need to like find a way to channel some energy okay my weight coming out but I feel like I need to find a way to like channel some energy and stuff and I sit in the house all day so it's like okay I need to find something to do there's just a lot going on and I feel like I need to find some things to do and I need to take myself out and okay I don't really like it and play outside a little bit and do some fun stuff because yeah so I didn't really like that we're just gonna move on with this and I just want to say thank you all for watching my video because I'm about to edit this video because I don't want it to be too long and I don't know what is going on with my hair but we're just gonna we're just gonna relax relax where's my scarf bro I'm just gonna cover this up I'm also gonna talk about how my flower wall fell <laughs> so I have to work on getting that back up oh and since it's down I mean I could try to angle it right with my camera so it could be my like backdrop situation so I'll have that back up by the weekend if not I'll probably do it like after this video which I know I'm not so I'll probably have it back up by the weekend because I worked so hard on that like when I tell y'all I worked so hard on that like dang that thing fell I was asleep and I looked oh I was like what the hell because like I see I have the the bottom room so I be kind of nervous down here and I have a back door so of course I'm nervous and that thing fell oh child I woke up and I was like oh hell no but yeah then I seen the thing laid over on the desk and I was like okay no props but yeah That'll be back up by the weekend, and I'm just going to work on getting some more video videos out and everything. So, thank you all for watching this video. I definitely appreciate it. Help me get my subscribers up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Oops. Let me know what else you want to watch, please. Um, Feel free to DM me on Instagram, all that stuff like that. Um, Make sure you like this video, comment on this video, and plenty other videos, and watch my other videos. And... Yeah, subscribe to my channel. My what you waiting for? So yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Bye, lovelies.